Hey guys, um, here to do another video. This one is obvious that it's uh, something that a lot of Christians might hear from other Christians. Um, you have to be fulfilled in the Lord alone. Yeah, <laughs> so where do I start with that? Uh, I guess so many, so many things from so many people, so many, di so many different, uh, I guess, um, anecdotes from the Bible, from our, from my Christian peers. And a lot of that, a lot of those things surround that I have to be fulfilled in the Lord alone. And I agree, of course, I am definitely fulfilled in the Lord alone as a person, as an individual. Um, like I'm a happy person. I'm full of peace. I'm full of joy. Uh, my, my focus is always building on the fruit of the spirit in my life. So I'm very, I'm very in a good place. I'm very much in a good place as a single Christian woman at my age and when I when I hear people tell me well you need to be fulfilled in God alone when I when I tell them about my struggles of being single it doesn't work it, it, it's not it's not the problem here it's not the issue Jesus is there for many things for me he fulfills me in many many ways but Jesus can't give me a child you know? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Another thing I really hate is people keep saying, well, you know, Sarah was 90 when she got pregnant. Abraham's wife. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> That's like a... <laughs> God can't give me a child physically, but he can give me a child in due time. Meaning... He'll bring forth my husband. He'll bring forth my womb to, to conceive um, in due time, in his perfect timing. <laughs> when I say perfect, <laughs> God clearly does not have a watch. So yes, um, I am fulfilled in the Lord. I am fulfilled in many ways. I'm a happy person. I'm at peace. You know, but I'm still lacking the physical family that I desperately long for, you know? And, and the reason why I say I'm fulfilled by God is because that void in my life is not weighing me down. I'll be talking about that in another video, but I am in a very good place. I'm not depressed. I'm not... I don't know how to explain it, but I am definitely fulfilled in many ways. I still feel a void, <laughs> I have to be honest. I still feel a small void. A void of an empty house. Um, a void of um, not receiving love or giving love to a child or to a husband. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really the same, you know? So, yeah. It was hard. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to do to find that fulfillment in God alone. I, I'm definitely in a good place and God is definitely using my journey, my struggles to help others. And that's why I feel it strongly to do these videos. So I don't know if you guys are going to get fed from them. I don't know if I should be saying more or saying less. <laughs> this is a little weird for me to talk to a phone. Oh yes, another thing is a lot of uh, people will tell me I am still single because I have not found fulfillment in God alone. Big lie. That's a big lie. That's not true. Not true at all. Um, there are many, many Christians out there who are unable or, or even unaware that they are not completely fulfilled by the Lord and they are married and have a family. So it's, it's not about that at all. 
people are telling me, oh, maybe you should trust more, put your trust in the Lord, or have more hope, or you need more faith. I do have these things, but as a single Christian woman at my age, I'll be 38, um, I can only take so much of those things. I can only grasp the the depth of those things at a certain level. It's it's hard to explain, but sometimes on some days I won't be strong. I won't be fulfilled. I won't feel at peace. I won't feel the love, the hope. I won't feel the faith, you know? I'll I'll be crushed. I'll be defeated. And it's a constant battle. It is. Um, I'm not perfect. I am not Jesus. <laughs> Although I strive to be like him every single day. You know, I struggle. So, um, but my struggles are very far and few between. They don't, they don't bring me down to a very low place, you know. They just make me seek the Lord a little bit more when I'm at my weakness, so... Hey, there is a scripture that says God is made stronger in our weakness. So I do believe that big time. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you're going through about that specific subject. Um, and yeah, thank you for listening. Bye. <music>